how to test if only on OS 3.0 beta 2 for non-developers. In my experience there are two methods for non-developers. 1. For using the jailbreak method with the unofficial quickpone from a Russian hacker. Note I was unable to connect to my carrier or YouTube. Therefore only internet connection is Wi-Fi. But warned. 2. Free or paid getting a developer to add your phone's UDID to their developers list. Note this is a 100% legal way and works I think. Certainly more legal than one to get 3.0 beta 2 on your phone. But to do this you either need to find a very cursious developer. Who will do it for free. Or find a developer. Who will charge a fee. Mine charged $5. Beware of scammers though. Optionally you can also jailbreak afterwards. For people doing option 1 to this at your own risk. Especially don't do this if you plan to unlock your phone in the future. For people with the phone 3G, iPhone 2G, and iPod Touch 1st Gen, this will work for you. However, the links below for the firmware are only for a phone 3g find other videos they will have downloads for you for people with ipod touch second gen sorry not possible for people with mac option one is not an option for you phew that's set aside now let's get to the goodies if own 3G firmware in three parts because of legal reasons, that's what everyone else says so I guess I will 2P part 1 tinyurl.com web link part 2 tinyurl.com web link part 3 tinyurl.com web link These are on different file sharing sites to avoid download limits. In order make upload, rapid share, speed share. Use Firefox add-on skip screen to avoid waiting time. Use an archiving program like WinRAR or Dugzip Google it to extract the IPSW. Quick pwn you must use this version. Tenural.com web link. This will install I see not side here, and seeing as it is beta, some apps will not work. Finally, instructions option 1 1. Have the correct firmware and quick pwn downloaded, and somewhere where you will find them, e.g. Desktop 2. Make sure everything that is on your phone is backed up somehow, including things to do with jailbreak e.g. Dtunes, MX tube, Psycorder, etc. 3. Connect device and open a tunes. Shift click the restore button and select the firmware you downloaded. 4. Wait for it to restore. At the end you will be told that you have to be a developer. Note disconnecting from internet during this step, or 3 won't make a difference, it will just ask you to reconnect. 5. Ignore the message, quit iTunes, and open QuickPone. 6. Let it find your device and browse to the firmware. This part is important to activate and jailbreak must be checked, boot logos optional. I think 2G phones will also get option to unlock, 
Uncheck that box. 7. Congratulations. You have 3.0 beta 2 on your device, but probably no signal, unless I touch. 8. Maybe there is a fix for the signal thing, maybe not, if you get in a real mess, there is always option 2, which may cost. Option 2 1. Make sure you find and work out a deal with the developer. They will need your UDID a long code which can be found by clicking on serial number in ITUNES, your device. 2. Make sure you have the correct IPSW. My developer gave me a download link, so you may not need the one from this video. 3. Do steps 2 and 3 from option 1. 4. Your device should be activated and running 3.0 beta 2 normally. Hopefully you are not scammed. 5. Optionally you can jailbreak 3.0 with the quick poen above. Important do not select activate, your device is activated properly by iTunes. Now you can brag to your friends that you have 3.0 beta 2. Will it? Enjoy.